Hello, I'm Dr. Suman Karan. I'm a consultant medical oncologist at Fortis Memorial Research Institute, Gurugram. Today, I'm going to talk about how we perform dendritic cell therapy for glioblastomas, and when do we perform the tuber storage, and how do we do the efferesis procedure. The first very step is in dendritic cell therapy is to preserve the tumor tissue in a special medium. This is done at the time of the initial surgery itself. This is a very critical and important step because this tissue is going to be the source of all tumor proteins that are required to educate the body's T cells which are the major fighting cells of the body. They are taught how to identify and attack the patient's own tumor cells. So once you have a date of surgery decided with your neurosurgeon, we take up the patient's consent and the fresh tissue, tumor tissue is collected the very same day. For the best results with DC vaccine, the tumor tissue needs to be fresh and not a previously stored paraffin block. The tumor tissue is then transferred in a special media and sent to the lab. The process of dendritic cell therapy is only initiated once there has been a histological confirmation of glioblastoma by the pathology lab of that hospital. The next major step is the leukopheresis process. This is done to collect the monocytes from the patient's blood. This acts as a starting material to make dendritic cells in the lab. This process is done in the blood bank of the hospital under the supervision of the medical oncologist. Once we have adequate number of cells that we have collected for this process, this is then sent to the lab in a special media. These cells are then cultured and grown in the lab and tutored with the patient's own tumor proteins. At the end of eight days, we get mature and primed dendritic cells, which are specific to the patient and his tumor. So this is like a personalized vaccine preparation. Then a set of six doses are prepared simultaneously and are cryopreserved. The patient then receives these doses as an intradermal injection every two weeks at the hospital's daycare.